Now, your Alaska Link weather for Juneau and Southeast. Good evening here as we have taken our step into our first week of July across much of the southeast. We've been underneath some quieter conditions where there have been some heavier rains across more mainland Alaska, but we're seeing that our monthly total is showing about a half an inch, but all of it came in those first few days of the month as the last five days we've had little to no accumulation, but we are going to see that that rainfall potential is returning. We are going to even turn into some moderate pockets from our Tuesday day into our Wednesday morning and then we'll see that after some of those moderate pockets we'll see that we'll have more of these showery spells that will last into the weekend and at times we are noting that there is a, even going to be some times of some cooler winds which will hold our high temperatures into the 50s so we are going to see that flip in that pattern that is going to bring us to some cooler some damper conditions and then we'll note that that could last even over the next week or two so the transition of the changing pattern here is moving its way through we will see that high tide here for our Tuesday is at 343 in the early morning hours and then 444 into the or a late afternoon. We watch that temperatures are still striving for seasonal here for our Tuesday, but throughout the day we will at least be increasing cloud cover. We might be able to see some of that morning sunshine grip onto some pockets that will help temperatures at least head towards those lower 60s, potentially mid 60s, depending on how long sunshine sticks around. But we will see that at least some spotty showers will be possible as we start to step our way into the afternoon as that lift is in place and we'll start to see that richer moisture plume start to set up and increase as we work our way towards those Wednesday, Wednesday morning hours. You can see those yellow pockets. Those are those moderate accumulation areas that will take us through Wednesday morning. Could see some spots even exceed about a half an inch of accumulation in some of those pockets. We even get areas Petersburg there, Sidka trying to get upwards of that half an inch. Marco Wrangell there just shy of an inch. Yaktat even up to about three quarters of an inch. So everyone had a chance at bringing in some of those steady showers here as we roll into Wednesday. And then following Wednesday, it's going to be back to more of those gray skies that stick around in some of that showery weather before there may be another round of some of those more moderate showers into that weekend forecast. So here for our Tuesday, as we continue to work into July and decrease our daylight, we are losing just over about two and a half minutes per day. We are just now shy of 18 hours, sitting at 17 hours and 49 minutes of daylight. As mentioned again, we might still see some pockets of some sunshine and we still have that nice pull with that tropical moisture. So that keeps temperatures warmer for the southern panhandle, trying to extend there into those 70s. But then as those showers will continue to drape their way on in, they will keep that environment cooler. So from nearly extending into those 70s, we see panhandle wide holding into those 50s for Wednesday. That will come with at times as well with some of those cooler northerly winds that will keep us under some showery conditions through that Thursday and Friday forecast. And then as we work into the weekend, we could be watching for another round of some of that steady rainfall, especially there looking towards Sunday.